Good evening, I'm Brady Gallagher. Coming up in the newscast, Miss Kutztown is crowned, Greece comes to KU and get ready to primp your bod. And I'm Steve Majiri with an update on the head football coach search. We also have Emily Roman with your Kutztown weather forecast. News break begins now. Last night, a new Miss Kutztown was crowned. Heather Zaborowski won the title during the 17th annual Miss Kutztown pageant. Lambda Chi Alpha Fraternity hosted the event in Schaefer Auditorium. Contestants competed in four rounds, talent, casual wear, formal wear, and summer wear. Over $600 were raised at the event, and that will go toward the Susan G. Komen Foundation for Breast Cancer Research. Kutztown University was recently visited by a prominent member of the NAACP. Newsbreak's Francesca Stewart has the story. Good night to talk about where we've come from, where we are, where we're headed. Benjamin Jealous is the former and youngest president in NAACP history. He was a visionary leader that engaged other leaders on important social issues. He was uh, enlightened. Uh, very well prepared. I was able to uh, adequately break down st the statistics uh, as they dealt with uh, incarceration, class gap, uh, all of the major issues that we're facing not only in our local state but also the nation as a whole. He listens and values the opinions of others. Mr. Jealous's leadership has made the NAACP better, stronger, and prepared for a bright future. Talked about how everyone, it's everyone's responsibility. It's not just purely incumbent upon who it affects. It's everyone's responsibility when someone's human rights are being violated. Know, know what you believe in. And as an activist myself, I think that's really important. Mr. Jealous inspired many people tonight as he gave his lecture, We Got What We Wanted But Lost What We Had. He will continue to inspire as he goes through the Apache school system. Reporting from Schaefer Auditorium, I'm Francesca Stewart from Newsbreak. There was a cultural competition between high school students today at the university. It's called the World Languages Meet. Students taking French, German, and Spanish came to Kutztown for a day of language skills competitions. The day's events included cultural presentations, wordsmith bluffing games, communication skills games, production of animated dialogues, and improvisational skits. The event helps prospective students learn more about Kutztown's facilities and programs. Steve, are you fluent in any languages? Uh, sarcasm, cursive, um, Spanglish, Pig Latin, all of the above. <laughs> I make jokes. We'll be right back after this. Kutztown University. The place you chose to spend your college days. Friendships began memories were made, and dreams achieved on graduation day. Time moves on, new faces come and go, but one thing remains, you can always come back home. been extremely windy. Yeah, Brady, it seems like no matter what direction I walk, I'm always walking against the wind. Well, it seems Mother Nature hates you. Well, that's probably because I never called her back. <laughs> Emily, is the weather going to get better anytime soon? We received some pretty twisted up weather today compared to yesterday's blistery winds. And tonight, it's still going down in the low 30s. But tomorrow, even though we're expecting rain all day long, 
it's going to be a high of 57. So when you're pulling out that umbrella for tomorrow, it's a lot better than wearing those snow boots you've been wearing all winter long. And just the low of 32 at night. Going into our five-day forecast, throughout the entire weekend, we're expecting some rain, but with a high of in the 40s and low 50s um, during the day, I don't think it's too bad compared to that would be getting snow if it was 20 degrees cooler. And then just low in the 30s at night. But Monday, we're expecting all sun with a high of 62, a great change from the past weekend and with a low of 35, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, expect mostly partly cloudy, but with a high, highs in the 50s and 60s, and just low in the 30s, it's not too bad, so spring is probably staying just about here. Thanks, back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Emily. We're barely into spring, but you can get some summer love in tonight. Allies presents Greece as a shadow cast and sing-along performance. Come out to the McFarland Student Union Building to see this rendition of the highly acclaimed musical from 7 to 9. The event is free and although not required, 60s costumes are encouraged. Tomorrow night, students can get a free makeover in the multi-purpose room. Come out to the Print My Bot event from 7 to 10 p.m. where students can get their hair styled or cut for free. There will also be eyebrow waxing and students can even make their own perfumes with the help of Paisley and Company. Now to Haley Bianca reporting on location in Hollywood. Hey guys, Haley here in sunny Hollywood, California, bringing you this week's Hollywood Minute. This past week, 31 KU students traveled all the way to Hollywood for the 72nd National Broadcasting Society Awards. And while we were here, we ran into a few celebs. I was sitting in the same cab that Kanye West sat in a week earlier. I also met Chelsea Handler's Little Nugget Chewy after the show, and I touched Mario Lopez's arm. And my friends also met some famous people. They went to the, the pilot filming of Cabot College where executive producer Tina Fey joined them in eating pizza on set and a Coca-Cola. And we couldn't make this trip complete without a tour of the magic of television at Warner Brothers Studios where we saw sets of motion pictures and TV shows. And what would a trip to Hollywood be without some awards? At the National Broadcasting Society Awards Ceremony, KU won a few awards, including Model Chapter of the Year, Best Promo for the Fall 2013 Football Promo, and the most prestigious award of the whole convention, Chapter of the Year. Megan Black was honored as a Student of the Year, and we also snagged two finalist awards. And that's my recap of our week in Hollywood. Now, back to you at the news desk. California, Steve. Good. I mean, it had some rough edges. I missed my flight on the way on the day back, but I managed Ooh. to get back through, you know, with a little help from up there. Coming up next in sports, Chris Town has found a new head football coach. Four, three, two. I'm J.R. Aquila. I graduated from Kutztown in 1982. Now I'm the event producer director here at Comcast Sportsnet Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Jim Bolden, and I graduated from the program in 1986. I'm now a business correspondent for CNN in London. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jews, Kutztown University. And now sports. After a two-month national search with over 100 candidates, the Kutztown University football team has finally found their new head coach. Jim Clements was hired as the university's 16th head coach on Monday. Clements brings a boatload of experience after spending eight years as head coach for Division III Delaware Valley College. During his tenure, he amassed a record of 66 wins and only 24 losses and never had a losing season. Clements also led the Aggies to three straight trips to the second round of the NCAA tournament from 2009 to 2011 with an undefeated season in 2011. In the same span, Clements also earned MAC Coach of the Year honors and the American Football Coaches Association of the Coach of the Year award in 2010. To add his accolades, he also won four straight conference titles. Clements says he's thrilled to take on the next chapter of his coaching career, and I quote, 
I'm very excited to take on this new challenge, and I am honored to be the next head football coach at Kutztown University, he said. The last 10 years at Delaware Valley have been great for me, and I am really looking forward to the next chapter of my life, end quote. Clemens says he's ready to hit the ground running here at KU. And now to wrestling, where as many know, star heavyweight Ziad Haddad finished off an undefeated season with a national championship last weekend. Haddad defeated Jacob Mitchell of California Baptist by a final score of 5-4. to four. After the win, he shared a moment with his family and his fiance after an unforgettable season where he did not surrender a takedown all year and lived up to the hype as the nation's top-ranked heavyweight. However, this near storybook ending had no shortage of adversity in its plot and a long list of encumbrances. Flashback to 2009, where Haddad, a high school state champion, is a freshman at Division I Powerhouse North Carolina who has just qualified for nationals, which is a rare feat for a freshman. Everything seemed to fall into the right place, and Haddad seemed poised for a propitious future in college wrestling. However, after numerous bad choices, Haddad ended up getting kicked off the team and found himself working a dead-end job in construction, and as a result, his weight ballooned. Out of sheer embarrassment, Haddad moved out of his house and isolated himself from his family. With nowhere else to go, he turned to smoking cigarettes and drinking as an outlet for his grievances. Any semblance of a return to the mat looked bleak for the former state champion, but all of a sudden, he rekindled a high school relationship with a former girlfriend, Shelly McCarthy, and with her help, Haddad reconnected with his family and worked to get back onto the wrestling mat. He reached out to Kutztown head coach Rob Fisher, who decided to give Haddad a second chance and helped him get back in shape and back into the sport he loved. Two years later, the rest is history. Stories like this are why I love sports and why I want to enter this field. Sports can be an escape from poverty, crime, and many other bad influence in the world for many people. Haddad's story has a subliminal message in it, and that is to not to be too critical of, pe of people, and that we all deserve a second chance. Because if we can't fix ourselves, how can we grow? Congrats to Ziad and his fiance, who wed last week in front of friends and family. That's all for sports, and remember to log on to KUBears.com for all the latest in KU athletics. That's a very powerful story, Steve. It is. I really enjoy covering the wrestling team this mm -hmm. season. Great group of guys, and I can't wait to get back at it next year. All right, and that's all we have for you tonight. We'll see you again next Tuesday. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter to keep updated with upcoming news from Kutztown University. For Brady, Emily, Haley, and the rest of the crew, good night. Good night. night.